Hello and welcome to Fun with Rocks with Blueback Reservoir. I'm your host Bruce Chammers and in this episode we're going to look at water saturation modeling which is part of both the geology and the reservoir engineering toolbox. So our water saturation modeling tool uses J functions to model water saturation. It provides an interactive plot to allow you to quality control the J functions against your data. The J functions are defined from water irreducible water saturation, maximum water saturation, and height above free water level. A linear regression is applied to best fit the data, but you can also adjust this manually. Then, once defined, the J function is then used to model the water saturation in the 3D grid. So it's a fairly easy and interactive way to model water saturation. A few things to note. When uh, making doing this process, you should create a J function for each facies. You could also create a separate J function for each segment if your reservoir is split into separate compartments. You can use a number, a portrayal contact, or a property to define the free water level. As you build up the J functions for each facies, you can store these together in a family, and then you can make different realizations containing families if you want to run uh, different scenarios on your modeling. Uh, and you can copy and paste all the settings between the different J functions so it's easy to build up a set for different facies. So just to show a quick overview, it takes porosity, permeability and water saturation as input from logs. It provides an easy way to uh, interactively define this uh, J function. And you can use contacts or properties to control the uh, free water level. Let's uh, take a look at how this works in Petrel. So the first thing to note is you'll find the water saturation underneath the Petrel processes, then property modeling, and then water saturation modeling. Let's double click on that. The first thing to do is choose this uh, make J functions tab, and then select a geocellular grid, like so, and then choose your porosity permeability and water saturation logs. You can then select uh, a different number of wells, so I can choose here this uh, additional well. Um, and then you get the data displayed here on the plot. Uh, so the plot, you can color these data points by the well, the zone that they're from, segment, and of course the facies. And you can filter the display for the different uh, types here. So in this case, I'm going to build up a set of different J functions for a couple of the facies in my model. So I've defined one for sand. Let's just toggle off the other points, which um, fits the data in this way. I can adjust, for example, the irreducible water saturation to see how it fits. That doesn't look as good as the previous result, so I can change that. This looks like it fits OK. You can also just choose to auto-fit the data, which will calculate the points manually. And if not, you can adjust the uh, slope of the line in that manner. Then I've created a second one for shale. And I'm going to create a new third one here. This time, uh, remembering to toggle off the different facies, I'm going to create one for coarse sand. So let's just turn the other ones off just now. Let's uh, call it coarse sand. Um, we can adjust this, for example, 0 0.1 see how it changes and we could always change this slightly differently to say 4100 for example and that will change the uh, shape and position of the best fit line. So the idea here is you define your different uh, J functions for each uh, facies and save it together here in your base case that's done by saying store all settings and then what we do is we model um, water saturation for each of these facies in the next tab. So then we click on the make water saturation property. Here we choose um, what to call it. When we write it out we can overwrite the existing water saturation or we could give it a new name Bruce water saturation for example. Let's just choose to overwrite. You choose your porosity and permeability from the 3D grid which uh, uses the values to calculate the water saturation and then you define the height above, how to define the height above free water level. So we could use, um, for example, the value from the J function, which is defined in here, or we can use, to be a bit easier on ourselves, let's use the oil water contact that's already defined. 
then you just hit apply to run that it takes a, a few seconds so I just show you then we get then under our model and then property we have a water saturation uh, model just a, an additional step um, we could also for example use our GDI to quality control some of this data so we could add in here our geocellular model choose water saturation press OK then create a histogram from this and then I'll toggle on my investigation and we can for example get some statistics on the water saturation property that we've uh, generated so that was pretty much it for the tool uh, please give it a go and let us know how you get on thanks for listening